The Zamfara State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps has arrested 27 suspects for various offenses. The offenses range from phone snatching, stealing, membership of gangs of thieves, and involvement in the illicit trade of granular ammonium sulfate gas and myriad of potash in the Guso metropolis. Here's the report. The Public Relations Officer of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Zamfara State Command, Iko Uche, who paraded the suspects at the State Command Headquarters in Guisau on behalf of the State's Commandant, Sano Mustafa, said 22 of the male suspects were arrested with dangerous weapons and belonged to some criminal gangs that specialize in phone snatching and other criminal activities in the state. He said the suspects were arrested with dangerous weapons, such as knives and cables meant for strangling their victims. The NSCDC Command's public relations officer also disclosed that three girls within the age bracket of 20 were arrested at about 11.30 p.m. with substances suspected to be intoxicants along the Top Town Hotel's bypass, Kosao. He said that one of the suspects was arrested with a military uniform, which he uses to harass his victims in the Gusau metropolis. The following group of suspected criminals were arrested at the odd hours of 6 July 2023 for various areas of the metropolis marked as black spots. Near criminals five and eight are carried out in various activities such as phone snatching and other dangerous activities. Oche told newsmen that about 108 unauthorized fertilizer inputs meant for industrial blending of fertilizers were impounded from some illicit dealers of the product in Gosau, the state capital. And subsequently, both into dealers of illicit products, mostly granular ammonium sulfate gas and borate of potash, more at canteen area of Gosau Metro, for a city. The court assured that it will charge the suspects to court after investigations are concluded on the matter. The Federal Minister of Works and Housing has assured Nigerians that the ongoing reconstruction project of Abuja Kaduna Kano Expressway will be completed in the first quarter of 2024. The Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Mahmouda Maman, stated this while speaking with newsmen shortly after inspecting the ongoing project. Here's the report. The permanent secretary attributed the slow pace of the project to the security challenges he had to experience on the Abuja Kaduna axis of the road, stressing that now that the situation has improved significantly, the contractor has promised to complete the whole project by first quarter of 2024. Uh, the assessment from the Abuja Kaduna end, I mean, a lot of problems. But why the program, uh, the project actually slowed down is mainly because of the security challenges. Now that the situation has improved, the contractor has actually promised to deliver that by the first quarter of next year, the whole length of the project is going to be completed. And I think we are going to take his timeline and go along that way. So Despite the funding challenges, Mama expressed hope that the road will be completed on time. The funding challenges we are having is along the Abuja, Kaduna, Kaduna, Kano Expressway. And this is a new administration that is determined to deliver services to Nigeria. And they are also committed, and this is also a high priority project. And I'm sure with the priority that they are given, the funding is not going to be an issue. And that's why we promise you that it's going to be completed on time. He explained that the essence of the familiarization visit is to see the challenges and find solutions to mitigate the problem. Maman also expressed satisfaction with the quality of the road project, urging the contractor to deliver on time. Bella Musa, Trust TV News Kaduna.